Indiana Jones style. You got this, boy. Done with you. Hello, everybody. My name is Kashyap Shook, and welcome back to Miss Cat Squad, guys. Episode number two of The Walking Dead was a complete and utter full-on hype ride. And I'm all like, holding on to my grandparents' necklace here saying like, why am I even playing this? Because my heart is giving palpitations and I'm freaking out over this game, but I love it so far. The story is amazing. And we're going on to episode number three now because we are ready. How it last left off is we got the food. We got some of the food in the car and we were all like, I decided not to take it. Anyway guys, today we're gonna be continuing The Walking Dead. I hope you were enjoying this so far because it has been amazing. So yeah, I wanna know who you guys' favorite characters are so far and I would love to know what you think of this game. So anyway, without any further ado, Miss Cats, let's begin episode number three. There's a train. Does that mean, uh, is leaping? Excuse me? Are those my babies? Are they driving the train? Am I gonna have to drive a freaking train? Okay, without any further ado, let's just get into this. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. It's not. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. Yes. I won't forget that. Good. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who <laughs> raised <laughs> oh, You're paranoid. Fuck you! Episode freaking triggered Did me. Did you tell like... anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. Hmm. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Literally. Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. <gasps> Oh god, how is this gonna start? I don't even know how this is gonna continue! But I'm ready. I am ready for this. This story series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So there's so many versions of it. I wanna replay it so many times. Cause there's no- there's no outcome. Like, there's so many different outcomes that we can have. I'm scared. Okay. So that came on this time. Please be start starting like a like a good downtime for them. A babies deserve rest. National Guard orders evacuation of city. Where are we? Are we back at the drugstore? Episode three, long road ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Maybe. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. <laughs> we deserve it after last time. Yes. Oh no. Babies. Ken, why are you so pissed off? Da -na -na -na. Is there anything here? Oh, man. What's wrong, you Ken? made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. You should stay. You should go. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Yeah. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's ah. dug in. Oh no! no. Oh god! Oh no. Like, by now they should leave. Stan here is not gonna do okay, anything. Yeah, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Oh god. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Go, Ken. Climb, my boy. Be a chimpanzee. You got this. <gasps> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. Hmm. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. That's true. No kidding. <laughs> All right. So where do I go? Let's look at everything. All right, Lee, baby. You know, I don't know how many months it's been, how long it's been. Ooh, climb on. Ooh. I want to look at everything first. Look at. I'm going to look There's at. There's no safe way through that mess. That's true. Probably going to be the car. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. <sighs> Ooh. What be you? Push. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So first, let me climb on this. I want to see what happens. I want to see the outcome of him just climbing. Let's do this, baby. You can do it, Lee. I believe in you. Kenny, come on. You help a man. Help your boy. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> reach. Reach Sorry, for me, pal. my baby. All right. Stay put. Yep, okay, so now we gotta go back to that wire over here. It's like, thanks, Kenny! Thanks so much, because you're gonna leave me here for the zombies to eat me. Hey. Yeah? Still sore? Think we'll find anything left? Still sore? I took a bullet to the gut. Ow. What do you think? Maybe you should have stayed behind. <laughs> I'll be all right. I think we'll find... Think we'll find anything? <laughs> Ain't much left in there. You're right. We're lucky we found that station wagon. Despite you getting all high and mighty about Yo! it. If we hit the road like I suggested, we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm sorry, dude. I'm coming up. Ladder's right there. Dude, I can't make the ladder. Da -na -na -na. Let's do it. Indiana Jones style. You got this, boy. I'm done with you. I'm done. Like, Looks literally. Like she's had it. He's <laughs> now. I'll find another way up. Okay. Better get a move on. Yo, dude, patience, my boy. There's not a problem with patience. You just gotta learn it. Literally, like, I'm feeling, like, as if, like, they're, like, in a, like, a, like, a relation, a lover's quarrel right now because it's, like, dude, we're, like, really good friends and you're just gonna leave me here and, like, literally how you're just sitting there, like, whatever, and you're gonna probably, like, in a few minutes say, come on, come on, move it, but how we just ripped off that letter. It's, like, I'm done with you. I'm done. We were best friends. And now you're being so angsty, Kenny. And, like, I have different views than you. So just shut up. All right, come on, Lee, baby, we got this. All right, so let's put, aha, uh -huh. okay. Go! Lily's not doing so good, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot oh, to be no. worried about. She's gonna snap. Oh, no. <laughs> you murdered her dad. Like, I love how, like, Direct these some of these answers are it's hilarious. Dun, 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 dun. Which way do I put it? Which way do I put it? Uh uh. My name. My name is Lee. I don't know where to put <laughs> your head moves that fast. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee baby. You're my son. I love you, boy. Oh, okay. Now what? Am I gonna jump it? What is that good? Okay, so what's that gonna do? I know it says push before, but come on, we got this. We could push it. Wait, would you? It's completely flat. Dang it. That means we're gonna have to. What? Oh. <gasps> we. upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I hope not. I haven't asked. I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Oh, excuse me? Kenny, stop being so angsty, my boy. I love you, but still. Yeah, Mr. Handyman. Okay, let's go. We got this, boy. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Oh, jeez. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Mm. Still? It was a scary situation for him. Mm -hmm. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. Aww. Oh. Grab! You're sure you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, no. You say that, but is that true? <laughs> Shit! Dude! Again! Always with the head. Always with the head. You show the hand. Jesus. Are you okay? No, Ow. Dick, I'm shot. No, get ah! off here. What? No! No! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Oh, my Lord. Oh! Somebody help me! Oh God. oh, God! Oh, God is right! What the hell is that? A walker? Oh, my God. Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Okay. We have to help her. We have to... How? There's no getting to her. 
We got it. Give a gun. Shoot. <gasps> Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. Oh, know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. Penny. Always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh, jeez. No. Are you kidding me? Okay. God damn it. Okay. Literally make her suffer, Kenny. Oh. Now look what you do. Let's move. Go. Go. Okay. Oh jeez. <gasps> Oh, oh, God, no! Guys. Fuck, incoming! Come on, Lee! <laughs> Go, my boy! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Oh, jeez, okay, okay. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it down here, and then we okay. gotta go. Okay. <gasps> oh, jeez. Take it. No, no, dude, dude, go back, go back. Lee, Lee. Okay, okay. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Candy. themselves in time, aren't they? Ooh. Oh man, only have a few. Claire, my girl! Oh my god. Oh, ah! Ben found some stickers in a drawer. And I put him on my walkie. No, you Thanks, didn't. Okay. Oh my god, stop. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Oh my god, my girl. I'm not gonna knock knocks. Oh no. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Oh! Huh. What? Kind of what? So. What did you get? What was left? Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Shut up. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? 
Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is um. why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. <sighs> why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Yeah. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. Mm. At it again, are we? <laughs> Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable in- We're strongest <laughs> together. Yeah. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. Mm -hmm. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not yeah. just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always mm -hmm. do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What Ten. then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What? What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had Come plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I uh couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. Guys, we all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. Dude. It's not so easy for him. Oh, Carl, what's wrong? Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She's, a, she's emotionally distressed. Okay. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. Yeah. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. No, you're not. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Dude, we all just need to get along. <sighs> really? Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Oh, Thanks. Help. thank you. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Oh, oh, oh hello. With her wound up the way she is, <laughs> I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Stop it, you. Oh my gosh. They have such a great relationship. Well, she, she just touched him like this. Like, what? Ugh. It's Lily's room. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go in there and see how she's doing. Oh, no. Don't throw anything at me! Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Who? Oh, you haven't really been sleeping. For real? Who? You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma, and you're not taking care of yourself. <sighs> it counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. What? I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. 
I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. Oh. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? Okay. So we do got a traitor here. I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment. We fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Seems like you're... Okay. I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. I wonder who it could be. A mystery. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Doc. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. <laughs> you need to unhear all of that. Yeah. Can I help? Yes. What did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. You're he bored. Did, he did not. <laughs> That's wrong. I know who it is. <laughs> he did not. You can help. Don't tell anyone. Okay, you're no, right. Oh my god! No. No. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. <laughs> Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. You got that. You'd be a good Robin. <laughs> he did not. Oh my gosh, he made, he made that reference. Okay. We ready? Okay, Duck will help. So we got a flashlight. I don't want to go up there yet, my girl. Not yet. Oh, come <gasps> Baby. What was she? Oh. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Oh. You didn't break a flashlight accidentally. What you doing there? You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. <laughs> He's just always blaming me for stuff. Jerk. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow? Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> yes! What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them. <gasps> I love to the doing botanical that. Garden ones. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. <laughs> oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. <gasps> Yay! Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? <laughs> Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. She is so adorable. Like, she, the thing is what's good about her, she doesn't tell lies. So that that's what's always good about that because she's like, she's like, did you put it there? Yes. <laughs> like she did with the salt lick. It's like, did you lick it? Maybe. So that's what's good about her, so, oh. You might want to. Okay. Oh. Oh, my girl. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hey, guys. It's okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all mm. carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Do you need to go flash it? You guys trust everyone? You guys, uh, trust, everyone. trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with <laughs> Lily, but I don't distrust her. Hmm. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. Yeah. Do you know anything about the broken flashlight? Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hmm. About the guns. Don't you start. <laughs> oh, oh. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Mm. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> we need them. There's no doubt about that. Mm. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. Yeah. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Mm. I'll talk to you later. See, Lily doesn't have any more family anymore, but she is, like, emotionally distressed because she had, like, as she admitted in episode two, her and Larry were, they only had each other. 
So how she's emotionally distressed right now, she's going through a lot. So if she snaps, it's be probably because of that. But yeah, I don't get me wrong, I love Kenny, but like they both need to try harder. They're both completely opposite, so that's why they're clashing and they both want to be like the leader. So it's going to be hard to see them progress through the story if they can get along and work things out, but I can't wait to actually see that. Okay, I'm not going up by Carly yet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go up there because I what is that though? Huh? Okay. okay. <laughs> that was good. Okay, Carly girl. Yee. Hi. I'm coming, my girl. I'm gonna romance you. I hope. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. Mm. What's wrong? What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. <gasps> I think about you too. No. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. Yeah. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. Hmm. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Oh. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. Oh, stop. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Mm. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Okay, for you, girl, I will. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Oh. Oh. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? My heart. Oh my god, my ship. Oh my god, my heart. Don't do this. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. Do you feel safe here? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec <laughs> and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Mm. You really think people are ready to hear about me? Mm. It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, mm. but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Hmm, true. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. <laughs> and the batteries might be in backwards. Oh. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Mm. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Okay, so can I already tell people about this whole thing? Like, I kinda wanna tell Lily right now. And Kenny. Oh, look how he's walking. Da, da, da. I can't believe she kissed him. Look, stop, don't do this to my heart. Don't do this to my heart. But, hey. oh. Find anything? Uh, okay, here we go. I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I killed someone before all of this. Shit. What? <laughs> Dad said there was something about you. Mm. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. Yeah. He treated you like shit knew who you were and you tried to save his life. 
The last thing you need to do is apologize. Oh. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? <laughs> Misery loves company. Mm. All right, so Lily won't forget that. I'm glad I just told her. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Ken. I'm gonna tell Ken because, you know, being honest. Oh, did, oh no, I already told her. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Ah! Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what. Yeah, yeah. that's it. It was a bad thing, and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Yeah. Aw. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Okay, Clement, Clement, she understands. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Oh. Dude, dude, stop always shaking your head at me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Mm. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? Mm. I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge, at the dairy. Huh? I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? <sighs> he smashed his head in. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, gotcha. no. Yes? Everything keeps changing. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm literally about to ruin Kenny's life, aren't I? Okay, hey. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> She's a towel. It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? <laughs> Come on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Mm. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? Gnarly? <laughs> you were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Dude. Of course. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. <sighs> Ooh. I appreciate it, though. Mm. I'm angsty, but you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, sometimes being honest is hard. And what he did, I wanna, I really hope there's like a scene or an episode or something where we get to learn more about what Lee did because I mean I know what he did was his wife like his wife had an affair and I want to really know why that happened so if we learn more maybe it wasn't as bad as it seems but with Lee at least he's being honest now and you know how hard that is for some people like honesty is the best policy but that's really hard for people to do